Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a plan with me for the week of June 21st through 27th, 2021 in my passion planner. If you're new to my channel, first of all, welcome. Thanks for being here. Um, but if you're new, you wouldn't know, but my passion planner is my content planner. So I have a catch-all planner that I use for work and for just general kind of everything. Um, and then I have a separate planner for content planning for YouTube. I have a podcast, Pixels and Planners, uh, Instagram content, you know, PR teams, things I need to get done, um, stuff for Patreon. And it really started to become like, okay, I need a separate planner for this. And the passion planner was just like the perfect solution. And I'm just so happy with it. And I've been, you know, I've had the passion planner since it was sometime in late March of this year that I got my passion planner because I got it actually for the Pi Day promotion. They had planners for $3.14. I literally, like, I, I couldn't pass that up. And I'd been interested in a passion planner, and I was like, yeah, this is my sign. So, um, since then, I have really just every week been trying to figure out the best way to use it for me. Because that, you know, you, there's so many, like, if you go on Instagram or here on YouTube and you see people using their passion planners, everybody uses it differently, and people have so many creative ways to use this layout. Like, it's just... It's amazing. And honestly, like a couple years ago, my friend Kim, she, you know, she showed me her planner. It was a passion planner. And I looked at it and I thought, you know, that's really nice. Like the, the quality of it looks nice and everything, but that hourly layout, like I, that's not for me. But at that time, the only planner I had, like I had one planner, like that was back in the day when I had one planner. Now I have like six, but <laughs> you know, things change, but um, I used to think that hourly layout just was something that would never work for me, but it turns out to be the perfect thing for social media and content planning. Um, so yeah, I am just uh, going through these Passion Planner sticker books. I have the Nature sticker book, which is the one I really wanted to stick with for this week because, I don't know, it was just calling to me. I just think it's so pretty and um, I want to use it. So I'm just going through and choosing my stickers at this point. And then I'm going to check back in with you guys here in a little bit when I actually start writing in it and planning for the week because I want to kind of explain the process. Because again, I'm trying something new every week and trying to find what works best for me. And I think this, this new thing that I came up with is going to be something that I actually stick with. Okay, at this point, we're starting with the color coding. I'm going back to color coding. I've tried it before. I never stick with it because I feel like it just never makes sense in my head, but I think what I'm doing now is gonna make sense. So I wanted to create a YouTube key. And I'm going back here into the, the last week to just kind of fill something in uh, to keep me organized. So the key over there on the right is for YouTube, and I'm going to go in in a little bit and write YouTube key, you know, to write exactly what it is. And then here on the left, I'm using the sections that are already there, I love those line sections, um, to, you know, kind of break it down into different categories. So I've got Instagram, YouTube, podcast, and Patreon, and that's where I'm going to put to-dos for the week. And the color of this highlighter is totally insignificant. I just wanted to use it to kind of like make a header for these sections to kind of break them up. I love this brown mild liner. I just, I just, it goes so perfect with the theme for this week. There's my purple hair, my big head getting in the way.
Okay, so at this point, that over there is the YouTube key. So I've got different colors that I'm going to use, like, okay, when I write this in the weekly layout, this is going to be the day that I'm going to record this video. And then, you know, the yellow, I'm going to edit it, and green, I'm going to post it. But the issue I had when I was doing this, you know, and this is the issue I've had in the past when I do color coding. It's like, okay, so I've got my colors for YouTube because I need to differentiate when I'm filming, editing, and posting. But then what do I do about differentiating, like, in the actual weekly layout, what is for Instagram, what is for YouTube, what is for Patreon, what is for... That's what I was really struggling with. And I think I came up with something good. So down there in the bottom left is where I kind of plan out, you know, this is what I want to do this week. And then in the actual, you know, hourly layout is where I'm going to write when I'm going to do it. So I'm just going in, I'm, you know, referencing my new YouTube key for, you know, when I want to post the video, when I'm going to record it or film it when I'm going to edit, and then when it's going to actually go up. And it is, you know, it's not a totally, like, set-in-stone schedule. It's just a general plan. Like, obviously, this plan with me didn't get up, you know, at 8 a.m. like I'd planned for Monday, because I ended up having a busy weekend, and it was kind of spontaneous, but it's okay. It's totally okay. It's still going to go up on Monday. It's just a general plan to help keep me organized. So here I'm writing, you know, I put my YouTube videos up for my patrons over on Patreon. If you want to support the channel, check out the link in the description box. It's just patreon.com slash playing with cast. Um, but the videos go up early. Sometimes it's a day early. Sometimes it's a few hours. But patrons always get early access to my YouTube content. It may seem redundant to have how I make stickers in the thing like four times. But that's what I need to help keep me organized and, you know, see what's going on with everything. So I have, on Tuesday, I'm going to record the actual video. Wednesday is gonna be editing day. Thursday goes up for patrons and Friday goes up for everybody. So I think that's gonna work out well for me. So here is where I had the realization like, oh crap, like how do I know that that's for Instagram? Cause the only color coding I have is for YouTube. But then I can't, I can't do more colors. So then I came up with this, This is, you're gonna kind of see how this evolves. So I came up with doing symbols to, cause in my head that works. So inst next to Instagram, I put a heart and then I just wrote a heart <laughs> in the layout. And then YouTube was a star. And I didn't need anything for the podcast because for this week, so my podcast is every two weeks. And so for this week, it's, I'm not recording, I'm not editing posting that's for next week i just wanted to have you know a couple a section there for it for other things i want to do um so i didn't have a symbol there because that's really just for to do's in the the bottom left and then the lines that are at the top there are really just like for me to fill in throughout the week just random you know space to have um and so after I came up with this, the symbol idea, I was like, wait, I think I have little icons in some of these old sticker books that would help me, you know, help make it a little bit cuter. So I found a star sticker. So I was like, all right, I'm going to stick with, you know, the, the whole star thing for Instagram. And then YouTube, I tried doing an orange star. So then I was still doing colors. It really evolved. <laughs> it really just kind of evolved throughout this whole video. Um, just really just thinking about what I wanted to do. So, you know, it started with, okay, I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to do different color stars. And I was like, well, let me do different, the actual different symbols, which was the first idea I came up with. And I ended up finding in this sticker book, um, I ended up finding some hearts and then that worked out. 
And so, you know, I'm planning on sticking with this because I think this is really going to work for me. And I have a million and three little stickers like this. And when I run out, I can just make some with my Cricut. They're very easy to make those little stickers like that. Um, but obviously the colors are going to change. I really, you know, for the YouTube key, I chose the orange, yellow, and green because that's what matched the layout for that week, like the stickers that I chose. Um, so that will obviously change. I have a bunch of model liners, so I can really just kind of change it up. And then the heart just happened to be, I chose the teal heart. It really, the color of that really doesn't matter. Um, it's just that it's a heart. And then the YouTube is a orange star for this week. Next week it might be purple. You know, it's just really about the symbol. All right. Don't well, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. If you are new, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Be sure to share this video with anyone who you feel it might benefit. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out the description box for all different links for my podcast, my Instagram, um, shop discount codes. All that good stuff is in the description box. So thank you again. I hope you enjoyed. And please leave a comment. Comment and let me know how you use your Passion Planner. I want to know because I'm always open to new ideas. I'm still very new to the Pash Fam, so... I'm still figuring things out, but I just really am so happy with this layout. I think it's very functional for me, and I think it's going to work really well, and it's also super cute. So, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye!